Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to talk about the cucumber hooks and tags, right? So in the previous video, I showed you how to set up a cucumber project uh, along with the test ng, right? Integrated with Selenium, okay? So that's what uh, we looked at in our previous video. And now I'm going to show you some interesting things about Cucumber, which is hooks and tags, how to use them in your project, um, and what are their kind of features, right? So this was our Cucumber test ng project, right? So we had just a simple feature file, right, to go to Google homepage, and then we had declared a step definition file for the same, right? Uh, we had the test runner, so which was, uh, based on test ng rather than j unit and then we had a test ng.xml file which was calling that test runner right so this is our complete um, project and framework which we developed earlier so if you have not um, already looked at this video right uh, and you want to know how to set up this whole project then um, go to my go to my channel and just search for this cucumber uh, test ng and you will find that video or else I have displayed the link over the top. You can just click on it and go to that particular video, right? Okay, so getting back to cucumber test or cucumber hooks, right? So, so what is what are hooks actually, right? So these are nothing but it's a block of code, right? Which can, which can be executed at any point of time. Okay. Now, but if you say in general terms, they are generally used for setup and tear down, right? So I'm going to show you how it is done and why it is done, right? So there are actually four types of hooks in Cucumber, right? So the first one is the before hook, okay? So this is the first one. And the second one is after hook, right? So, sorry, so they are not called like, before hook, they just call before and after in Cucumber, right? And then there is before each and after each. Now, interestingly, if you see before and after, uh, these are kind of annotations which are also present in test ng or j unit. Right, so whenever you are using Cucumber with test ng or JNet, just make sure you are importing the right, um, you are importing the right annotations, right? Otherwise you, your project will um, get into problems because you'll be using test ng instead of Cucumber hooks, right? So just make sure when you are working in your project. Now, what, what are these hooks, right? So these are basically blocks of code, or you can see annotations provided by uh, Cucumber, right? So under this annotations, you will have blocks of code, and these will be executed depending on which annotation you are using, right? So, so what is before hook? Okay, so before hook, um, it is executed, right? It is executed before each scenario. Right, so this could act as a setup thing, right? Whenever you are setting up your browser, you want um, your scenario, before your scenario gets executed, you want to open your browser, right? So that could be a before step or before hook, right? And after, as the name suggests, it is executed after each scenario. Okay, so, Again, this could be a tear down step, right? Where you close the browser, okay? Now before each, so it is executed before each step, 
like now this and this is it is executed after each step right so you can use these uh, depending on your uh, project or framework if you want to execute some some precondition before each step right you can use before each and after each so these are basically uh, the four hooks in cucumber right and let's now see in real time how you can use these hooks in order to um, make your project more kind of uh, stable like or you can kind of um, make your code more reusable i can say right so let's get back to a project and what i'm going to do is i'm going to add another scenario here right so we had a single scenario till now and what i'm going to do is i'm going to launch facebook okay so here also i'm going to say open facebook page right now very um so this is our step right now i will show a great shortcut right uh, if you're working on intellij uh, you can press just uh, put the cursor here on the step definition right or on the step given step where it doesn't have any step definition right now and we want to create one so press alt enter and it will show you this option create step definition create all step definitions right so if you select that it will show you where you want to create if you create a new file or you want to create in the same file so just click here and your step definition will be auto generated right so every id has uh, this feature this is coming from a cucumber plugin right so if you have a cucumber java plugin in your id you will get this option right okay so this is um our step definition for our facebook page right now we were executing this three steps here right so we were setting up our chrome driver and opening that chrome driver instance and then going to this home page url right now i also want to do the same here but so i will do driver.get https face www.facebook dot com right so this is our step but will it work no right uh, so depending on if you execute both the steps it may work but if you just want to execute uh, this scenario it won't work because the setup is present in this function right so until this method is not called the driver will not get instanced so this is not the right way to do it now i'm going to um, refactor this whole code right we are going to use hooks instead of uh, putting everything in just one method so for this i'm going to use the before hook right so as you see this is the before hook right it's an annotation now as i was saying just make sure your import statement is cucumber if it is test ng it this execution will not happen right so let's see uh, i will just define a method here so this is the block of code after the inside the hook right and this hook can be defined anywhere um, any step definition you can define it or you can have a different class as well right so what i'm going to do is this is the setup step okay so here we are going to use these two lines of code so i'm going to remove it from here and put it here right and then i'm going to do after right so and public void tear down so this is the tear down step where we close our browser so driver dot quit okay so what i have done now um, this is more reusable code right 
and we are also using the hooks. So we have used the before hook. This step or this block of code will be executed before each scenario, right? So before before going to launch Google, it will go and run this particular step, right? So it will set up the driver and open a new driver instance. And similarly, before going to launch Facebook, it will also do the same. And it will also go to the after after hook, right? So after the scenario is executed, it will tear down. That means it will close the browser. Okay, so this is what it's going to do. Now, what I'm going to do is let's run this and we'll see it in action, right? So it should um, it should execute both. <clears throat> sorry, so it, sh it should execute both this block of code, right? Before and after each step, each scenario. Okay, so let's go ahead and execute this. Okay, as you see, the Google homepage was opened and then the driver was closed. Again, a new instance was launched and it was again closed. So as you can see, uh, now your test is properly structured and reusable also, right? Because you're using the before and after hooks. Okay. Now, um, See, for example, right, I don't want to execute this Facebook scenario. I just want to execute the Google scenario. So how you can do that, right? So in Cucumber, like any other uh, test framework, right, Cucumber provides you with tags, right? With the help of tags, you can either exclude or include different scenarios, okay? So you can define tags for every scenario and then basically you can control the flow of execution for your framework, right? Now, how to use tags? So for example, right, this is, um, let's say this is our regression scenario, right? This launch Google, it comes under the regression pack and I want to include both the scenarios in the regression pack. So just need to say, at regression right on top of the scenario line so that will mark it or that's a tag which will include these two scenarios so now if you execute this tag right it will execute both the scenarios right then i can have some more tags right um, i will name it at google and then this one at facebook so with the help of this Google tag, now I can execute only this scenario and not this scenario, right? So I have two tags, regression and the individual test. Okay, now how to use them? You need to go to test runner, right? And here in the Cucumber options, you can also define a tags. Okay, so this is the tags. And here you can define at regression. Okay. So you need to put a comma here. Now, as soon as you um, do this, okay. And if I execute it, it is it's going to execute both the scenarios because both the scenarios have the tag regression. But if you want to execute just one scenario, we need to change this tag to that particular scenario which has this tag right so you can either take the google tag or facebook tag so i will show you that but right now i'm just showing you that it is going to execute both the scenarios because we have used a common tag right now let's see if we can do okay sorry uh what was that google Right, so that's what we have defined, the Google tag. Now let's see if it just executes a single scenario. 
right? Not the both the scenarios. Okay, so it has opened the browser and it went to Google and then closed, right? So it's completed. It did not execute the other scenario. Okay, so that's how you can structure your, um, I mean, complete suit of tests, right? And you can also distinguish between which one you want to execute, which one you want to exclude, right? So these are the options which are present in Cucumber, which help you to group your tests, right? Uh, and also you can do inclusion and exclusion of tests, right? And then I showed you the hooks, right? Where um, you can actually execute some preconditions, right? Before each scenario or after each scenario. So it's pretty useful if you're working with Cucumber. Um, you should be using Cucumber hooks and Cucumber tags, right? So in the next video, I'm going to show you some other features, powerful features of Cucumber, right? So we will see uh, what is a background step, right? Then um, we will also see how you can use examples or basically do run different sets of data with the same scenarios, okay? So that you can do with the help of examples or scenario outline. So we will we'll be looking at both these things in our next video. So do join me um, in my next video where we'll talk about more features of Cucumber and we'll also uh, continue building this framework, right? Cucumber and test ng framework. So see you then and goodbye.